positive energy brings good feelings, and dark energy often means harm. But the destruction in dark energy is also a subtle aspect of construction, like how even forest fires have their benefits. Sometimes enemies are our best teachers, people can learn from their mistakes, destruction sometimes means rebirth. The recognition of the law of the cause and effect, also known as karma, is a fundamental key to understand how you've created your world, with actions of your body, speech, and mind. When you truly understand karma, then you realize you are responsible for everything in your life. It is incredibly empowering to know that your future is in your hands. Our dreams can teach us, instruct us, confuse us. Sometimes I think they look to be considered. And in terms of like, they are an opportunity and I think they most certainly could be utilized to focus, to try and achieve, whether it's looking for someone, or influencing us, or inspiring us. Falling in love and having a relationship are two different things, but yeah I can imagine that you can kind of, I think it depends on one's psychological state. I think there are some people who are on the internet and can fall in love and seem to be in a certain psychological state and other people who are, who couldn't quite do that. Violence is sometimes a very practical solution, but I don't think it is the ultimate solution. Owning a gun is not okay for me. But I could argue both sides. Why shouldn't people own them? I'm not fundamentally against citizens having access to a weapon, but I think it has complications. It's probably not the wisest idea. Obviously, it has consequences. Personally, I do not own a weapon. You're playing and you think everything is going fine. Then one thing goes wrong. And then another. And another. You try to fight back, but the harder you fight, the deeper you sink. Until you can't move. You can't breathe. Because you're in over your head. Like quicksand. I had the classic 40 meltdown, I did. It's embarrassing. It was pretty funny. But then I recovered. To me, it was like a second adolescence. Hormonally, my body was changing, my mind was changing, and so my relationship to myself and the world around me came to this assault of finiteness. A relationship is an imaginative act, it's an act of creation. Someone said to me the other day that a relationship between a person and a kid is unconditional, but the relationship between adults, to each other, is conditional, in a sense. But that condition can be the best kind. What would happen if you melted? You know, you never really hear this talked about much, but spontaneous combustion? It exists. People burn from within. Sometimes they'll be in a wooden chair and the chair won't burn, but there'll be nothing left of the person. Except sometimes his teeth. Or the heart. No one speaks about this, but it's for real. Money doesn't mean anything to me. I've made a lot of money, but I want to enjoy life and not stress myself building my bank account. I give lots away and live simply, mostly out of a suitcase in hotels. We all know that good health is much more important. There's a lot of great writing, and characters, and stories being told in television nowadays. And much more than there used to be. The opportunities to tell stories, because of the opportunities to show content. And so it's drawing actors from cinema, movie actors, actors to where there's a lot of opportunities to where you can tell stories.